Oh, it's a black watch. And, and I really don't have a particular subject to talk about on this particular clip. But since we're here, <laughs> somebody get Lamar Odom. Can somebody please get Lamar Odom? Now he's talking about that his ex fiance was only with him for monetary gain. I didn't know Lamar had any more money. Let, let's just, let, let me just be where I am. I thought all the money was gone. So he must have had a little stash left. And he found him a little Fatopotamus who wasn't a Kardashian. Because see, that's the only reason that Chloe didn't take him. Chloe was a Kardashian. If her name had been Chloe Jones, she'd have took all that nigga's money. So now he out here with a trout mouth talking about she was only with him for financial gain. And let me tell anybody that is a freak of nature. You six, eight, six, nine, seven feet. And you got a number on your chest and your back. Women ain't coming at you because you cute. Women don't want you because you look good. They don't want you because you can get all the shit off the top shelves. They don't like you just because you tall. And Everybody's not anatomically correct. So all motherfuckers at seven feet ain't sitting on cable. Because I hear and see women talk about tall motherfuckers all the time. He wasn't all that. He was tall for no reason. Yeah, yeah, they be talking about motherfuckers. He just tall for no reason. See, some women think that if he's 6'9", and he gonna be bringing in about a foot. I don't know where those myths started. That you, if you tall as fuck, you long as fuck. Cause it's purely a myth. It's getting a little dark in here. What I gotta do here. I don't usually roll with this one. How do I get I gotta get some light in this bitch? I'm about to be in the dark. I don't know how to rotate some light in this motherfucker. I decided to just roll in the car today. Weather was good. Just ride around in the car. Didn't have a lot of big shit. That's the thing. I can't pick up a lot of big shit with this motherfucker. It's ain't a cargo carrying vehicle. Only cargo it really can carry is my ass. Somebody else. If it wasn't in COVID. I ain't fucking with nobody. I don't want nobody sitting next to me in my seat if they ain't family. It ain't happening. I'll meet you there. I'll meet you there. So, yeah, um, Lamar, I thought he was broke, but I, apparently he had a little bit of money still, and it looks like his recent hookup decided that she needed to get off in that checking account a little bit, and he didn't like that. 
You didn't like that. I can understand. I mean, you know, you think you got somebody that's really digging you, really, really into your life. He's never going to have that. Lamar's never going to find true love. Once somebody figures out who he is and what he did, it's over for him and any type of transparency on a woman's part. Shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I did a little looking up about Herschel Walker today. I didn't know the woman that he that he was married to left him back in 03 or something like that. I thought they were still together. Who was that woman that was at the fireplace when he was on the HR 40 hearing? I thought that was his woman. Maybe it wasn't his kid because he only had the one kid. He only had the one kid who who's constantly talking shit about black people with his little young bussy blew out. Why don't Herschel talk about that? Talk about how his son's bussies blew out. Don't worry about talking about what black people need as far as reparations. Hug your son, motherfucker. Because he needs some love. He needs some love. I mean, he's getting plenty of loving, obviously. But he needs some love from his daddy. Walking around in cut-off jeans and shit and all this, ugh. I mean, look, man, you already know. I don't need to keep putting up disclaimers about how I feel about homosexuals. But if you gay, you gay. I get it. But to talk about other people, and he put such a, he put such a negative shadow on homosexuals, because all homosexuals don't act like him. I know plenty of homosexuals that don't act like, what's his name, Christian? I think his name is Christian. Yeah, I know plenty of homosexuals, and they don't act like him. He's all Billy Porter. He's not really a homosexual anymore. He's he's like more about that Billy Porter life. Crazy shit. Crazy shit, man. So... I really don't fuck with that type of shit. You know, and I know people might say it's xenophobic, but it's not. You coming at black people and telling black people what that I mean, you know, I guess he is he is very flamboyant and he's a Trump supporter. And he was all on people about not supporting Trump. And here's the thing. You supporting Trump being who you are. Trump don't like gay people. Trump has said it before. That's not his base. What legislation did Trump pass while he was in office for the LGBTQQIAP? Nathan. He didn't even be like, look, I might lose this motherfucker. I need to go get the gay vote. He didn't even say that. He was just basically like, fuck them. Yeah. If he don't talk about you, I mean, hell, at least black people got the $500 million, whatever the fuck that thing was he called it. What was it? What did he call that shit? The, oh, the platinum plan. I gotta get this damn brake rust off these rotors. Not driving this motherfucker fucks me up. I guess that gives me enough light. I'm not in the total darkness. Weird shit. I totally forgot this motherfucker don't really have no light in it. And when it's black on the outside and it's black on the inside, when it gets black, I'm wearing black. That's not helping none of none of none of this. None of this is being helpful. So it is what it is. Yep. I saw this dude. And I, I've heard that I guess there's there's flags and posters and all kinds of stuff out here with this saying. What did he say? Let me let me get right where it is. Cause it, it was really upsetting. 
It was really upsetting to me. Yes, this shirt is 100% cotton. That's why I picked it. Break dust. That's why I picked it. I mean, come on, man. Why he got to be there? Why he got to be there? This shirt is 100% cotton. That's why I picked it. And he looks like he might not even be 100% black American, American descendant of slavery, American descendant of freedom. He looked like he might have something in him. Could be mixed. I'm, I, you know, I haven't dug any shit up about who he is. I was just more concerned about the message that's on that shirt. And he's wrapped up with a white girl in the picture. I mean, come on, man. I mean, it's dangerous out here. It's really dangerous. If this is where our youth is taking this shit, if this is where our youth is taking it, and they're basically going to acquiesce with white supremacy, there's going to be a lot of them that we're going to have to leave by the wayside. You can't bring them with you. They're not with us. They're not with us. These were who abolitionists left behind or killed. And we ain't got to kill them. We just, we just can't take them with where we're trying to go. And it's unfortunate. I'm seeing even a lot of young black males who have black fathers and white mothers or just non-black mothers, let's say. I'm starting to see them really do some dumb shit. I mean, really activate their kundum. It's unfortunate because nobody's really talking to these youngins the right way. They're not really giving them the right ism and they're making them feel very comfortable. I mean, they're feeling very comfortable to be so disrespectful out here. And really, it's just a bad look on black Americans, people of African descent. I mean, black immigrants, they clown us. Black Hispanics, they clown us. Now we've got people that are literally half black, half whatever, whether it be white or whatever. They're not proud of who they are. And for whatever reason that someone didn't make them proud of who they are, the color of their skin, the depth of their culture, that's not black America's fault, so we shouldn't be brought into that, but we're brought into that when we get pictures like that, I mean, this shirt is 100% cotton, and that's why I picked it, dangerous, dangerous, so that's where I'm at with that. But, you know, like I said, I wasn't going to be on here all day. I, I really ain't talking about nothing. Just I'm always going to probably find something with white supremacy to have to do with it. And today I, have, I actually found, you know, Lamar doesn't have anything to do with white supremacy other than the fact that he got swallowed up in it. I mean, you know, he got swallowed up being a professional athlete and fucked around and met a Kardashian. Then he got on reality TV shows. All these are problems and things that are controlled by white supremacy. That's the crazy thing. Controlled by white supremacy. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, it is what it is. But it's the Black Watch. And hopefully you subscribe to the channel. If you don't, I get it. One love.